everybody, it's Renee from Lovely Lavender Wishes. I hope you're having a blessed day today, and today I am gonna take you on a journey to fool around with some wax with me. I'm making these little wax labels. Um, I saw something like this on the Graphics Fairy, where she put out, um, you can see a little sheen there, where she put out um, how to make like wax type labels or um, little ephemera pieces. And so I decided to try it, to take a stab at it on my own and um, see if I could figure out an easier way to do it. Um, she posted her way, I'm gonna try a different way and see if it worked. And it seemed to have worked for me. The thing with this is gonna give your paper, I just printed these out on regular paper or card, like a light card stock through my printer. Um, and then as you, when you cover it with wax, it kind of makes the paper, if you can see in the light, makes it a little translucent, which is pretty cool. It gives it a really cool feel, as well as making it waterproof. You could, um, let's see, we can take some water here. You can put water on it, and if you see, see that little bead of water right there? The bead of water will actually stay on the paper and not soak in, and you can just rub it off, and it keeps your paper waterproof which is cool so you can put these label these on glass jars or what have you you can um, make ephemera pieces with it or glass jars you can see a little bit of translucence um, and it gives it a really cool feeling and a little bit more durable feeling to your paper as well it's just like you know something different than you can try so um, like I said graphics fairy um, did something like this um, one of the ladies on graphics fairy did like a little how-to article on this and she did hers, hers a little bit different. I wanted to take a stab at it and see if I could figure out an easier way to do this for me. So let me start out on how to do this. You guys can follow along. Um, but you can literally put wax on anything, any ephemera pieces. So here, and again, you can see the translucence. There's the, the light coming through. It makes your paper look really cool. So it gives it this different look, which I like. And it gives it a little sheen as well because it's wax on there, but it also durability. Um, but you can take little ephemera pieces, little tags, anything. Um, these I got from Artie Mays. Um, uh, these were from Graphics Fairy. So it was a sheet you can print out that looks like this of um, little tags, little, uh, they were all oval tags. So let's start one, I'll show you how to do this and then you can take it and run with it. So let's move these all to the side. So these are some that I did. I'm gonna show you a trick um, if, whoops, whoa, just hit the whole table, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you a trick on how you can tear things in an easy way. Um, if you haven't seen this before, I just take plain water, see if you can see here, plain water with a brush and I'll go around the oval with just plain water and this will help me tear it easier it kind of keeps me within <laughs> the realms because sometimes you know when you're tearing uh, sometimes you make the mistake and it just goes haywire and it goes off the water kind of helps keep it within the parameters of where you want to go. It just makes it easier to tear, I guess. So if you're tearing out certain shapes, this is the easy way to go. If you're just tearing a line or whatever, you can take a tearing ruler and tear it. Um, but I found that this makes it really easy to tear an oval or a circle or something like that if you're doing shapes. So I'm gonna tear these out first. And I'll do a couple. But this seems to keep me on track so that my paper doesn't go haywire because there have been times where it has just torn and just kept going and I was like no I tore too much off or what have you this is also great for napkins um, if you want to tear around certain spots of the napkin putting water down I mean this has been going on for a while everyone knows you know like a lot of people do use water um, but in case you haven't seen it that is an easy way to get your shapes out now the one on um, I tried it and I want to show you what happened uh, the, the lady on uh, the graphics fairy she used watercolor on her paper so when she tore her pieces out her ephemera pieces she used watercolor 
around the edges to get kind of like a rusty type look. This has not been waxed yet. This is just the paper. But what ended up happening for me is as you can see, all my ink started running. It's probably because I don't have the best printer or the best paper. Maybe it depends on what kind of paper you print it on or maybe you need to let it sit for a little while more. But for me, you can see all the ink ran, which is fine. I mean, it makes it look even older and then you put wax on top of this. But if you want to do um, watercolor, I tried using watercolor on these pages and this is what happened. So maybe you'll have better luck if you use your watercolor. Now this is one that I used watercolor on and then this has, um, you can see, you can kind of see the difference. This has the wax on it, um, but it got really smeary. Like you can't even read the labels anymore. And I wasn't sure if I really liked that too much. So here's another one with the, the wax on it in watercolor. This one didn't smear as much, but I found as I was putting the watercolor, it was smearing my ink. So these that I showed you, instead of doing the watercolor, because I tried that and it wasn't really working too well, instead for these, I just used ink. So I just inked the sides up. So you can decide, like maybe you can try adding some watercolor or maybe using some different colored inks on here. Um, instead of watercolor, maybe your, your print won't smear as much, but I'm just going to use ink. So I use the distress ink and I ink it up and this, this one, I want the ink to be, you know, on the page instead of just the edges. I want it to really kind of look old. So I'm like, just kind of smearing it everywhere. want to get it really dark on the edges so I'm gonna even go again because I like it to really stand out and really give that old you can even tear these make cracks in them um, you know tear up the side or whatever like you can do kind of stuff like this and ink that up because the wax will kind of get in that the edges so make it just beat it up a little bit okay and then the only th other thing to do I'm gonna put a few of these out get all these ready you're gonna want some wax paper or something down to protect your surface because when you start adding the wax to all these I didn't do a black one let's see what it looks like with the wax on the, the black labels um, once you start putting the wax on here you want something to protect your surface or if you have I guess if you have a protective surface or a glass surface it really wouldn't matter but it's just easy for easy cleanup and such we'll try a couple of these labels let's see I had these pieces of ephemera let's try that let's try another girl and I have these specimen card like these little cards from Artie Mays, we'll try these too. Okay, so the next thing I did, now the lady on Graphics Fairy, she, what she did was she shaved her wax. You can use any kind of wax, but I use these. So this is a bag that I got from the Salvation Army of all these little tea cup, um, little candles for like, I think 25 cents for this whole bag or 50 cents or something. Um, and I just bought them not knowing what I would use them for, but now I found a use for them. And so what the other lady did, I need to look up her name and write it down, but, um, it was just on graphics fairy for the weekly, uh, thing. So if you want to sign up for that, you can sign up. They give out freebies every week, um, as well as video tutorials and different things. But again, I saw something and then I had to kind of run with it and kind of play with it and see what would happen. So when I see something like that, I'm like, ooh, that looks fun. Let's try it, right? So what she ended up doing was shaving all the wax and putting her piece between the wax paper. So she put, put her piece here, all her shavings here, covered it up with the wax paper, and then ironed it or um, used her hot, um, let's see, her, her um, little heater tool over it to melt the wax 
which is fine, but I didn't want to have to deal with all those little shaving pieces. So instead, let me grab it. What I got was this. Oop. I had to let it stay heating for a while. So instead, many of you might have these. These are those little um, wax warmers that you have at home. Um, it was on the the flame, the fire, to keep the wax um, melted like this. And so I figured, well, if she did the wax shavings, instead, I just took the wax out of these little candles. I pulled the candle part out and then, um, let's see if I can get one out. I can't get it, I need a knife. So I scraped this out and pulled this part out and then just put all the wax in my warmer and let it warm up while I was cutting out my pieces. And then what you're going to do is just get a brush. This is a stiff brush. And then you're just going to cover your pieces with as much wax as you can. You could probably even pour this, but it's hot. So I just figure I'd paint it on. And don't worry about the clumps or anything that you're gonna get once the wax starts drying because we're gonna smooth it all out at the end. So you're just gonna cover all your pieces with wax and you want to work quickly um, before the wax dries or starts getting you know starts getting solid again it's fine if it gets solid on the paper don't worry about it because um, we're gonna go back in but you want to cover them up as much as you can with wax you want it to soak into the paper as much as possible and this is, I'm just using wax paper. This is wax paper. Um, so it keeps everything real clean, easy for cleanup, easy to pick up all my pieces here. And we're gonna see what these all turn out and look like at the end. And I found that the longer you let them sit and dry once you're done, um, with the next step, the more translucent they seem to get. And the more it kind of soaks into the paper, I guess. I just found this to be a lot quicker than having to shave all the pieces of wax. So if any of you have like a warmer or you know one of those Scentsy type warmers, I've got a few of them in the house. So I figured I might as well put them to good use, crafty use as well as aroma use. But you can pretty much use, I think, any kind of wax. She was saying beeswax, soy wax. Um, again, I just use these. This white, um, these white little votive candles were perfect. Um, they they dry clear. If you use colored wax, I'm assuming you would have a colored tint to these, which might be pretty cool. Like if you had a yellow, um, let's make sure I'm in the frame. If you had a yellow type tint or an ochre type tint, it might make these even look older and more rustic. And as you can see, they're clumping up. The wax is starting to dry and clump up, but like I said, it's fine. I'll show you what we're gonna do next. But you could, you know, literally do hundreds of these pieces pretty quickly. Cut everything out that you want, ink it up, you could do the watercolor on them if you want, or you know, make them as grungy as you want. Okay, and I'm, now I'm getting these clumps off my brush. I'm just gonna lay them here because they will melt in just a second. And it's kind of magical again, like um, you know how we do the embossing powder. This is kind of fun to watch once we get the heating tool on these kind of makes it it's kind of like a science experiment make, makes it kind of fun you'll see okay so we've got that all situated as you can see we've got the wax on these but as you can see the clumps they're getting all clumpy but that's fine because this is what we're going to do so you're going to get your heating tool oh sorry y'all looks like they are doing our lawn outside and we might get some loud noises okay you're going to get your heating tool Pull this over here, and you're gonna start heating these up. And as you can see, 
you're gonna see the wax start to melt right before your eyes. Kind of like the embossing powder, it's kind of fun. I get a kick out of doing the embossing powder while well, I think this is giving me just as much of a kick. And you can see the wax starting to melt. Hope you all can see that. And you can see it starting to run and melt. And you can also see the paper start getting translucent. So see how the wax is melting. You can um, move it around like this. And this is what's gonna smooth out the wax on your sheets. It's a little hot, so be careful with your fingers as you're doing this. If you have a tweezers or something, that might be better. But, it's, but when you hold it and move it around like this, it'll make it smooth. So cool, I love it. Like I said, I just get I get a kick out of the craziest thing you know. These are easy to do because they're tiny and they heat up real quick. So this is what's gonna smooth out your wax on your paper. Okay. So then what you're gonna do is kind of let them sit for a while. You gotta let them sit. Um, but already, you can see, they got, they got to finish drying, but you get this, um, you can hear the paper. It's already making it kind of like plastic, like a thin, thin plastic. Um, this will dry, and if you see any other clumps, you can go back in and just heat it up a little bit. But it kind of soaks into the paper, and then this will make this, this is going to be waterproof now. And then it also gives the paper a really cool texture. And if you can see the windows right here, you can see that it makes the paper almost translucent, kind of like a thick vellum, which is really cool. So in a little while, they'll just keep drying and then they will look like this in the end. And as you can see, it's almost like a thick plastic, which is really fun. So these are the ones that I did right before I got on camera. Um, and they're still drying a little bit. So I bet if I keep them overnight and let them just kind of dry up, I want to see what they look like tomorrow morning. But look at that. You can see the light through the paper and it, it is, it's like a little plastic, which is pretty neat. And then you can layer these, you know, and it just gives your paper and your ephemera just a different kind of feel, I guess. But there's so many things you can do with this wax. But this I found to be the easiest way, instead of having to shave all the pieces, put it between two pieces of paper, heat it up, um, I just paint it. And if you wanna paint the back, you can do that as well. Um, but I found that the wax, if you can see, it, it soaks through the paper. And you can still get the same feel on the other side. So this will give it a little sheen. But I would love to see what y'all come up with um, I'm still goofing around and playing with this a little bit and trying to see what other kind of nifty things I can do with these. But I figured I'd show y'all, this is just another little thing you can do to maybe spark your, uh, you know, spark up your pieces a little bit or do something different with them. These would be great tuck spots. I think they would be more durable than just regular paper as well because like I said, they feel like these little pieces of plastic almost, almost now. Um, if you can hear that and it gives it like a little bit even more, um, durability I'm thinking so I'll have to play around with it and see and I'll let y'all know but anyways I um, hope this is, maybe will get you wanting to create a little or play around with some wax um, you know it definitely did me I was like oh I have to try that and it's kind of fun so we'll see what else we can come up with um, then you can put even you can make tags out of these I'm thinking I might um, put some uh, eyelets in here and some jump rings hang these from, you know, maybe some chains or hang it from some jump rings, make little, um, little tags or little dangles or something with them. You can um, double these up, like if you wanna glue one to the one side, other side, double them up, make like a little hanging tag with these or 
what have you. I mean, there's so many things you can do with these. Um, just like anything. But again, I would love to see what y'all come up with. Let me know. I will put how you can contact me down in the um, comments below. Um, and I don't know what I'll be doing next time. Who knows what's going to spark my interest, but hopefully this will spark something in you. So thank you all for joining me. I will see you next time. If you do enjoy my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't have any regular days that I put out videos, but I do, you know, put them out whenever the inspiration hits, I guess. Um, you know, it's just nice. I love watching all of your videos as well. Um, hope you enjoy watching mine. So hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.